ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Johnny Steele. You've been introduced to the rest of the band, but the guy who's been doing all the talking, you haven't met him yet. So please, put your hands together. Our lead singer, lead guitarist, brilliant at both, Danny Handy there. Danny Handy! Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a song now that's um, a little bit of animal's history here. Going back to the spring of 1965. We had a new single, we had a new tour, kicking off in Northern Europe, starting off in Stockholm, and we had a new keyboard player. Wow. Very, very short notice new keyboard player to replace Alan Price, the original keyboard player who left the band the day before Stockholm, and he didn't tell us. <laughs> no. What do you do? Anyway, we knew a young guy back in our hometown of Newcastle, where we all came from originally. And uh, we sent our manager to see if he was free to come over and do it. The rest of us flew off to Stockholm to get ready, get things working. Mike Jeffries, our manager, flew up to Newcastle, knocked on his door, and went, eh, ah. <laughs> so, eh, huh? Would you like to join the animals? He was only about 15 or 16. I said, what? Said, Would you like to join the animals? Said, yeah, yes. Okay, can you be in Stockholm tomorrow? No passport. Hadn't been out of the UK before. Hadn't been out of Newcastle before. Been nowhere. Our manager was very resourceful. He was a spy in the war. <laughs> and he got the papers signed, and the guy flew out, joined us 20 minutes before we went on stage. Big open air festival, spring festival, 20,000 Swedish teenagers, drunk. <laughs> this was his audition for the animals. I'm not making this up, I'm not making this up honestly. I wrote a letter to my girlfriend next day to her what happened. She kept all my letters. She became a first wife. <laughs> She's still my first wife. <laughs> still got all those letters. <laughs> so, it's all true, folks. Anyway, he, had, he did a great job. He was inspired by the whole experience and uh, decided for the rest of his life he was going to be in the music business, which is, that's exactly what happened. Do you know Ian Dury and the Blockheads? Do you know that band? Played with the, with the Blockheads for 25 years. Still has the band on the road. He recorded London Calling with The Clash. Toured with The Clash for a year to promote that album. Uh, recorded and toured with the Eurythmics. Peter Frampton and Camel. In the studio with Sir Paul McCartney. Been around the block, here he is, Al Mickey on, on piano. Yeah. 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 Nick's gonna play the introduction now to the single that was a big hit for us in that spring of 65 when he joined the band. It's a Sam Cooke song, I'm sure you'll recognize it, and you can sing along, it's got a good sing-along chorus, so please join in. It's called, Bring It On Home To Me. Okay, do you feel that singing? Let's see. If you ever change your mind, come on then. About
plane.